Hi guys, today is May 26, 2021. Um, I'm taking it easy today. I didn't get much sleep the night before. Also, I'm having longer days at work now, so coming home a little later in the evening and um, I don't have much time today. And Based on my lower energy and recovery uh, status, I'm gonna, just gonna do a little bit of active recovery and some mobility work. So this is the Mighty Archer push-up. I learned this from uh, Daniel Vadnell of uh, Fitness Fitness FAQs on YouTube. You should check out his channel if you want what I feel is um, some excellent instruction on body weight and calisthenics types of uh, disciplines. So um, thank you, Daniel, Daniel, for the Archer push-up. Um, just doing a set of 10 push-ups just going for a little speed um, as at least as I age I notice I'm getting a little slower so just pushing the speed circuits for a set or two of those okay now this is my go-to stretch for I'm just tight today I'm I'm tired and it's late and I'm, I'm just tight and I'm also cranky and hangry so um, the pigeon pose or the pigeon stretch is um it's a multi-purpose and it just gets so many different things done at the same time um, i'm getting a very strong stretch in the hip rotators deep in the right gluteal compartment also getting a secondary hip flexor uh, stretch not in that position right now in this position i'm also getting a strong stretch into the left lower back um, area especially as i'm now rotating and trying to slide my left arm across i'm trying to lengthen it um, across towards the lawn that's in front of me but i'm also trying to keep the axis of my spine um, long and, and vertical relative to my position all right and kind of coming out of there and, ooh, it's creaky coming out so yeah it's a rather i guess extreme position it's not painful or harsh i don't i don't suffer when i'm in there it's 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 a pretty relaxing um pose but uh, yeah just coming out <laughs> At least me, I gotta, I gotta come out a little slow. All right, the left side is actually a little more tight uh, in most cases, and today it's especially so. So I'm, I'm going to be emphasizing, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm going to be emphasizing the left leg out in front of me. I do like to try to keep a 90 degree angle behind the knee of that front leg. In fact, maybe a little obtuse of 90. Um, I'm also trying to steer my hip bones. I'm trying to position, especially in this case, my right hip bone. I'm trying to bring it at least equal to the left hip bone. So if there were a wall in front of me, both of my hip bones, both of my ASIS would be equidistant to the wall in front of me. So now I'm trying to uh, rotate the spine. Um, this would be, a, I guess, a kind of a transverse plane rotation. I'm also trying to reach across. I'm trying to stretch the fascia in the right latissimus and lower back compartment. So the way as I'm reaching down the lawn, I'm, I'm using like a friction lock onto the mat, <clears throat> pardon me, to wind me into this stretch if um if say my arm were to become oily all of a sudden that I, I would actually spring out or counter rotate out of this position rather quickly so but it gives a really nice feeling stretch and opening of the lower back area and also being able to reposition the neck it looks kind of weird when i'm craning my head that way but i'm just trying to ensure that my spine is properly lengthened all the way um, to the top and then coming out once again is a little bit uh, of a process. All right, um, yeah, today is just, sorry, a lot of this. I, every, but I'm, I'm showing you the subsequent repetitions of this stretch because 
it, I know it looks really crazy and a little freaky to some of you, but every time you re-enter or re-attempt the stretch, you'll just find there are new areas that have opened up in it. Um, and even if they haven't, uh, the goal is not to get yourself folded onto the floor like this. It is to just feel wherever, whatever barriers you encounter when trying to position into this stretch. Um, that's, you just want to feel those and just approach them and not overdo uh, or over tax yourself and forcing yourself into a position outside of that. So you can see there's a little space below um, my left outer thigh and that's just because the glute area, the rotators there are a little slower to release. But I'm just breathing, focusing on rotating the spine through and okay and once again sorry I, I, we're we're almost to the end so just bear with me but i just need to emphasize that in stretching people ask well how do i get flexible and you no know, you seem kind of flexible how do you do that it takes just mo at least for me the method that i know of and the one that's always worked is just repeated repetitions and uh but, but not straining necessarily to improve one repetition over the previous. Just doing what, accepting whatever my body wants to do in that given repetition. And if I do that, usually they improve. Okay, so this is the final. I just am, uh, you know, the, the, the asymmetry of that, the uh, pigeon stretch is so big. Uh, I like to end with this dive bomber push-up. It just puts me right back down the center. And yeah, it's just a big movement and kind of resets everything. I'm trying to keep my tailbone tucked or keeping my pelvis in a slight posterior tilt. Also pushing hard through the calves and actually trying to extend or plant or flex strongly at the top there. Anyway, you guys have a great uh, day or evening. I'll talk to you soon. Much aloha.